people? Today I'm gonna to teach you how to use one of my favorite digital tools. It's called Trello. If you don't know, it's like a virtual Kanban board or sometimes I describe it as a wall of post-it notes. So look at this. This is an example of a Trello board and this one is using the getting things done framework. I don't wanna spend, I'm assuming if you clicked on this, you know what getting things done is, but for those who don't, it's a really cool framework where you have one inbox for everything on the left-hand side and then you organize it into projects and then you drag projects into your today view for tasks you're gonna to do today. It, by the way, just so you know, in getting things done parlance, any task that takes more than two minutes to do is a project. And what's pretty cool, and I'm actually gonna elaborate on it right now, what I like about Trello is for each card, that can be a project. Here, let me move myself out of the way. But then you can also make these little checklists within the card. So the card is like a project and then the checklist are tasks. Overview, right, add, and then, can I please get my camera out of the way? Then you can be like, subtask one, two, etc. So I think I've introduced you enough to Trello for the sake of this tutorial. And now it's about time for me to tell you how to use Trello better. So what I love about the getting things done framework, and this is what I'm gonna fixate on particularly today, is the inbox for everything. From now on, even if my Trello board isn't a getting things done board, I always have one inbox for everything because I love Trello, but the app, it adds items to the bottom of the list. And the desktop adds items to the top. And I want consistent behavior, people. I also want to add cards to my inbox very easily because any amount of friction reduces the chances that it's gonna get done. I hate friction in systems that are supposed to work for me. Computers are good at remembering stuff. Human minds are good at being creative and flowing and all that type of stuff. So I'm gonna show you how to add Trello into your flow without grinding things to a halt. So there's two major ways, effortless ways that is, to add Trello cards to your mobile, from your mobile to your board. So now we're gonna go onto my personal board. I'm, this is very intimate, people, but I'm showing you into my mind a little bit. Now, I'm also gonna show you my phone, because I'm gonna show you what the thing, all right, you caught me. I was looking at my hero, Teddy Roosevelt. Impressive, impressive person. So anyway, actually, it doesn't matter what app I'm on. So here's the advanced version, okay? This is for Apple users only, but I'm just gonna tease it right now, okay? New idea. What text? Tell my subscribers that I love them. That's done. Wow, look at that, see? So I went from Siri to my inbox for everything. Now that one is pretty advanced and I'm gonna get into that at the very end. But there's something a lot more accessible um, no matter who you are. So look at my phone screen over here. Now we're gonna go back to look at my Teddy Roosevelt pictures because sometimes he just gets me motivated. Uh, a finer president hasn't been around for a long, long time. So actually, uh, let, let, me, let me work in a little different order. Actually, I'll show you what I'm gonna do and then I'll explain how to do it in this sample Trello board. By the way, this sample board, I'm gonna share a link in the comments so you can make a copy of it and you can uh, sort of like modify it, you can steal it, you can copy it, you can do whatever you want. But this is like a very bare bones getting things done Trello board from me to you. You're welcome. But here's my personal Trello board, my getting things done board. So now look at my iPhone screen. I'm gonna do a little screenshot gonna open up the share sheet and see this, this is my getting things done Trello board. It turns out I, t I email my Trello board so frequently that it's up there in, in my share sheet. So it's just really easy for me to share this. So whatever text you do in the subject is gonna be like the main body text of the Trello board. Like I love live, oh, whatever. You, you get it people. I think I'm in my German keyboard, back to English. I love Teddy English, okay, and just send it, send it. And look, look in the corner. Here it comes, here it comes people, any minute now. My computer's huffing and puffing, it's not used to working this hard. 
what bam. So that way, what I just did, so you know, is I just emailed, you can email stuff to your board. And I prefer that because you don't have to go into the Trello app. I'm not gonna demonstrate it for you because it's frankly an embarrassment to Trello, but it's way, way more than three clicks, way more. So many clicks that I stopped counting after three. Any more than three clicks, that is not integrated into your flow. So now I'm gonna show you a couple things that you gotta do. So we're moving back to the sample board that I made for y'all people. So you have to go to your desktop to get this bad boy set up. So you're gonna to go to the top right corner on your desktop of the Trello board. You're gonna click show menu. You're gonna get the camera out of the way. And you're gonna you're gonna click more. And you're gonna to go to email to board settings. This email, you're gonna copy that. And somehow, some way, you're gonna copy and paste this email and you're gonna add it as a contact in your phone. And you're gonna make sure that new issues get emailed to the inbox for everything. And you're gonna make sure that they get added to the top. So that way you can do that beautiful thing that I just demonstrated to you. And just to make it easy, I'm gonna copy and paste this into a Trello card, right? So I'm just gonna make a new card, add a card. All right, and now we are gonna switch over to the phone, to the telephone one more time. Now we're gonna open up Trello for mobile, people. Trello for mobile. And now I can copy this cool email, and you, I think you know what to do from there. You just, you know, make a new contact. All right, mail. Paste. Okay, I, I'm gonna be real with you people. I think you know how to add an email to your board, but I, this is my second take of the video. You caught me. I'm trying to do better because my first one was a little bit choppy. Hey. Have a good day, people. Oh my God, it's still in German. Throw in some emojis to confuse, you know, whoever spies on me and send it, right? Send, oh my God, I'm clicking on it on my computer instead of my phone. Oh, you caught me. And now look at it. So that is how you email cards to Trello. And if you wanna do that, now I can tell you about that Siri shortcut. There's a couple steps. Let's see if I can explain it in one go. Do you know what? I'm gonna consult my notes so that I don't teach you wrong. Let me pause this recording. All right, people, I am back and I am ready to teach you some black belt Trello iOS usage, right? So I'm just gonna demonstrate it one more time so you know what I mean. New idea. What text? If you don't know, comma, now you know. That's done. And look at it, look at the Trello board. Look at it as it updates. Oh, hang on, sorry. That went to my personal Trello board. Oh. So, oh my God, my computer's gonna give up people, dude. My, I'm letting my computer die for you. My computer is a martyr. I'm perfectly fine, I'm perfectly fine but my computer is huffing and puffing. So anyway, I'm gonna make a shortcut. I'm gonna show you how to do it so that we can add new issues to this sample board. So you're gonna open Apple Shortcuts. You go into your search bar. If you don't know where it is, you just search in your search, find shortcuts. Shortcuts are pretty cool. It takes a while to set them up, but once you have one, it's a good thing. So we're gonna make a new one. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call it new issue. But we're gonna start with some dictation. So just start typing dict, dictate text. Now we're gonna add an action. We're just gonna search through our, we're gonna find Trello, okay? Trello, add Trello card, well, bam. So we're gonna add dictated text, just tap on it. 
to the top of inbox for bachata. That's a different that's a different one, obviously. So we'll find the right board. Oh my god. Jesus, I have a lot of these. Oh my god. What even is the name? Get things done. Aha. Here we go. Yep, we're gonna add it to the top of inbox for everything. Next. Shortcut name. I'm going to call it the YouTube exclusive, right? YouTube exclusive. Donezo. Are you ready, people? What should I say for the sample? What should I say? What should I say? Anything funny? Anything funny? All I can think about is Eminem right now. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. YouTube exclusive. What text? I love Eminem because he's a bad influence, but also a pretty good dude. Done. Look at that. Look at that. So, you people, because I'm trying to help you out, I'm going to share a link to the Apple shortcut somewhere in the description or hidden somewhere inside the Trello board. So if you want to be able to email issues to your Trello board, I think you know how by now. And if you don't, I might even write it out for you. Jeez. And if you want to be able to use that Siri shortcut, you can follow my instructions or you can just find the link that I'm going to share with you. And whatever you do, people, if you're using Trello, do yourself the service of making an inbox for everything. So that way when you're on the go and you have new ideas you want to add to your Trello board, you can just effortlessly add it in and, and you know, let your systems work for you. Your brain is there for being creative. The computer's there for calculating and remembering stuff. So I hope that was useful. If you found that useful, you know, do all the stuff, the like and the share, share it with someone who you think um, has like a really creative mind, but isn't the most organized. Share it with them, and it might change their life like it did mine. So help me help you help get this in front of other people because I just want to serve people who, who like knowledge. All right, that's about it. I'm done with this video, people. Get out of here. Go do some good. I'm out. I'm over this. Talk to you later.